In this lesson, we are going to learn how to get started with Transformer for Snowflake and build our first Snowflake pipeline. This video walks you through exactly what you need to do so you can create a Snowflake pipeline flawlessly. Our pipeline will sort the incoming data based on the fields we will specify. Before starting to build a Snowflake pipeline, create an account or log into the Snowflake platform. Make sure you remember the username and the password as we will need them in one of our next steps. Now let's create a warehouse, a database, and a schema in the Snowflake UI. Proceed to the left side navigation menu and select the Classic Console. Move over to the Worksheet section. Enter the command to create the warehouse as well as its name. Select the whole line and click Run. Likewise, input the command to create the database and run it. Finally, build the schema the same way. You may also run all of the commands in bulk. Now that they are created, proceed to the next step. Sign up or log into your StreamSets Data Ops platform. This is where you will design, test, run, and monitor your pipelines. Once you are on the Data Ops platform, click the user symbol in the top right of the UI and select My Account. Proceed to this Snowflake settings section and click Update Snowflake Credentials. Here you will have to specify your Snowflake data. Indicate your username. We are going to use password as an authentication method. Next, enter your Snowflake account password. You may also determine your role. Now save your credentials. Next, fill in the Snowflake pipeline default section. Copy and paste your Snowflake account URL until a .com part. Enter the warehouse name you've just created. Input your database name too. Finally, indicate the newly created schema name. You may also specify the role. Now we need to create a table. Go back to the Snowflake platform. Move to the worksheet you've been working on. Use this command to build a table and give it a name. Now let's run it. We created a table named Dinos that contains the dinosaurs' names and the scariness rating. Now we need to insert the data in the database named StreamSetsDB. You should use this command to insert data in the database. In total, we inserted four raw datasets in the database. You may check that the data has been inserted. Use the command select all from Dinos. The asterisk symbol means all in the SQL language. Click run. Once our table is created, Let's move over to the Data Ops platform. Click Build and Pipelines in the Data Ops platform UI. Once you are on the Pipelines page, click Create a Pipeline. You may call it Snowflake Pipeline and give it a description if necessary. Select the Transformer for Snowflake Engine Type and Blank Pipeline. Click Next. Select Save and Next. You successfully pre-built your Snowflake pipeline. Now, click Open in Canvas. Once you find yourself on an empty canvas, you can start creating a pipeline. First, you should add a Snowflake table. For this, scroll down the Select Origin menu and pick the Snowflake table. Once the origin is added, click the Snowflake table icon. Proceed to the General tab, call your origin, read from Snowflake table, and give it a description if needed. Next, move over to the Table tab and specify the table name as Dinos. Now it's time to add a processor. Select Sort from the Select New Processor to Connect menu in the top center of the UI. Call it Sort Data. Move over to the Sort tab and specify the field to sort by. Indicate scariness in the field and set the order to descending. Finally, let's add a destination. Select Snowflake Table from the Select New Destination to Connect menu. Call it Write to Snowflake Table and provide a description if needed. 
Go to the Table tab and specify the table name as Dino's output. Set the Write Mode to Overwrite Table. Now we are ready to preview our pipeline to verify it runs correctly. Click the I symbol in the top right of the UI and run a preview. We can see that no errors are detected. Observe the preliminary output below the canvas. Now we are going to run this pipeline as a job. Click check in in the top left of the UI. Specify the commit message, my snowflake pipeline. Click publish. Select save and create new job. You may specify a description and job tags if needed. Keep the defaults. Here we can see that our Snowflake pipeline settings are treated as runtime parameters. Finally, click Start and Monitor Job. Monitor the job status on the top of the screen. It will change from active to deactivating and then inactive. That means that the job has finished. Now it's time to check the result. Go back to the Snowflake UI, Proceed to the worksheet you've been working on and run the command select all from the Dino's output table. You can see that the dinosaur's names are sorted according to their scariness rating in descending order, from the scariest to the least scary. Congratulations! You successfully configured your accounts and built your first Snowflake pipeline build a snowflake pipeline using our instructions. Run it as a job and see the results for yourself. Thanks for watching and we will see you in the next video.